Governor Kevin Stitt says he plans to share some concerns with a district judge about a settlement proposal from the Attorney General. Thank you for joining us here on the Late Edition. I'm Wendy Suarez. And I'm Adam King. The proposal involves the Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services, which is accused in a federal lawsuit of not providing timely court-ordered competency restoration services for some pretrial defendants. Fox 25's David Chazanoff at the Contingency Review Board meeting where Stitt made the announcement. David, what were your big takeaways from that? What stood out, Adam and Wendy, is how the attorney general did not show up. Earlier today, he called the meeting a sham and a political theater. Counsel, have you, have you talked to the attorney general? Was he coming? A.G. Drummond making his displeasure with Governor Stitt known Wednesday by not going to the contingency review board meeting. Well, General Drummond's not, not here. He also told news outlets this morning that Stitt seems determined to ignore a years-long failure of the ODMH SAS whose commissioner did not appreciate Drummond's words. Do you have any concerns if the attorney general continue to represent you going forward? Well, if you read the press release from his office this morning, uh, would you feel comfortable with this individual representing you? I didn't see the press release yet. <laughs> it, you can read it. Drama aside, every CRB board member at the meeting today shared their concerns about the settlement proposal that Drummond wrote. What would this consent decree require you to pay? So as it's written today, a conservative estimate would place a burden of approximately $96 million over five years. Where does that money come from? This money would have to be added to additional funding through appropriations from the legislature. The AG says his proposal outlines a strategic plan for justice to be administered in a timely fashion by improving the agency's restoration services. But Commissioner Ali Friesen argues that's not the case. And the consent decree as it is written today is removing our ability to provide, as we are required per statute, timely competency restoration treatment. Governor Stead and House Speaker Charles McCall shared their concerns at the meeting. We do not think that uh, what was conveyed was in, was in the best interest of Oklahomans. And to saddle this, saddle the taxpayers with this type of obligation without any end in sight, when we need to be using those dollars and giving them to the, the, the department to actually treat patients, that's where I'm at. The board did not take any action today. Stitt actually agreed with Drummond that it would have been premature to do so. Reporting live at the state capitol, David Chazanoff, Fox 25 News.